On March the 18th, students occupied Parliament in response to the signing of a controversial service trade agreement with China, which was passed without the knowledge of Congress. The agreement opens up Taiwan's service industries to Chinese investment. I was there since the first day of the protest and it was kind of scary at the first night because we actually broke into the legislative yuan and we were like sitting in the middle of the congress and holding our hands together. The police tried four times to break into the congress but what is funny is we thought that we were dragged out by the police in the first night but actually, this is like the 20-something night today. The occupation led to the birth of the Sunflower Movement, and throughout March, protests gripped the streets of Taipei, with clashes turning violent on March the 23rd. On March the 30th, the protest reached its peak when an estimated 350 to 500,000 people took to the streets. What is precious about this movement is that uh, people start to think on their own. Okay。最担心的状况就是说, 恐怖主義。After the news spread out, our government has signed an agreement with China. The whole society was like shocked. On March 17th, one single congressman declared the Congress has passed that agreement without any deliberation within 13 seconds. So, meeting in Congress was the most ridiculous one we have ever witnessed. And we asked our government to establish a congressional procedure to deliberate any kind of cross-strait agreement between Taiwan and China. There are eight gates in this chamber, but all of them are blocked. The police officer tried to break into here like four times, but we fought back. The yellow pipe is to send in fresh air to prevent the air here from too stagnant. Uh, this is the supply section. They in charge of maintaining and uh, keeping us alive. And they provide water and food and sleeping bag and like everything we need in, in this, this place. And uh, the agreement covers some industries which are quite sensitive for our national security, like telecommunications. And from a political perspective, as the Communist Party has once announced, it's much easier to buy Taiwan instead of invade Taiwan using forces. I sleep there almost every day. and. Uh the floor is very hard. It's pretty noisy and for the first three days, I didn't sleep at all. This is usually the place I sleep. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but right now I'm really tired, so I'm going to sleep. Good night. We as a group are making 
history in Taiwan, and we are defending the values so important and so essential for our people. And we get enormous support from every corner in Taiwan. The next day, students agreed to leave Parliament on April the 10th after the Speaker of the House offered to set up a mechanism for public oversight before resuming any trade talks with China. As agreed, the students left Parliament after 24 days of occupation. If the government fails to keep to their agreement, the students have vowed to return in 60 days, the time it takes for a sunflower seed to reach full bloom. <laughs>